everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a wardrobe declutter and organisation video and I'm going to be swapping out my summer clothes and bringing in all of my winter clothes. So all of my winter clothes have now come down from the loft so I have all those to hand. I'm going to be going through all of this wardrobe which is an absolute stay at the minute. I've even got like boxes here of stuff I don't even own anymore like Apple old um, iPhones and things. It just needs a massive clear out. Some of the clothes I'm going to be obviously putting away in my suitcase and putting back up in the loft for next summer or I'm going to be giving it to charity or either selling on eBay. So if I'm such a hoarder, everything normally stays for a long time, even if like half the stuff doesn't even fit me anymore. Like I'm one of those people that I'll be like, oh, I'll lose a couple of stone and I'll fit that in a couple of months time. That just never happens. So I really need to have a good sort out and I'm just fed up of having so much stuff and I only wear about half of it. So if you do like decluttering videos, do make sure you're subscribed because I have a lot of decluttering videos up and coming. I think I've got the home edit bug because I've just finished up Netflix and I'm obsessed. I just want to literally rainbow fi everything and I am really looking forward to going out and buying lots of product for, uh, for all my organisation. So I'm going to be doing my kitchen, I'm going to be doing my bathrooms, um, I've already done a makeup declutter, so I'll link that up here if you haven't seen that already. And obviously today I'm doing my wardrobe, so there's lots of stuff coming on the channel. I do hope you enjoy it, please like this video if you do and don't forget to subscribe if you're new, I'd love to have you stick around and I'm just going to get cracking now. So where to start? So I actually picked up a load of new hangers from TK Maxx, so I got these lovely velvet ones um, and actually today I went and got some clippy ones as well because I didn't have any of these, these were 4 99 you only get six in there but I think they're really going to be good for skirts and things and I've got quite a few of these ones left over. I'm also going to be making sure I take all of the plastic hangers away and putting them on the velvet ones so you can just get more stuff in the wardrobe really. So I think I'm just going to start to the left, pull everything out, <laughs> go through, tell you if I'm going to keep stuff or not, put everything back and then I'll get all of my winter clothes out. So I've got this Topshop little camel jacket. I actually think I'm going to sell this because it's a size 6. I'm not a size 6 anymore um, and I think I'm going to be getting rid of that. That Topshop coat I still love and wear. I'm keeping that one. Got a couple of these blazers here. I've got a little Topshop blazer and this second female one. I think I'm going to be putting both of these on eBay because I just don't wear them. But I do quite like this one though. It's quite nice for the sort of if I need to look a bit smarter. I might keep that one but I'm going to be putting this Topshop one on eBay. I've got my Zara leather green coat which I love. I'm going to be just changing out the hanger because it's a plastic hanger. I'm going to be putting it on one of my velvet hangers. I love this jacket, it really needs a dry clean. This is a little H&M cardigan. I don't really wear this but they're always handy to keep aren't they? So I will just keep this. this little Topshop black blazer that's going to be going on eBay because it's a bit small for me. I've got this gorgeous Kitchery um, blazer sort of tailored jacket. I love this. I actually got this second hand at a um, like a vintage clothing fair we had in Norwich um, and I never really wear it. I really need to start wearing that more but I love that so I'm going to keep that. I then got my most recent little jacket from Manga. I got this in a recent Stitch Fix. So if you haven't seen my Stitch Fix haul video, I'll put that up here. I actually love Stitch Fix, I'm obsessed with them in it. This little camel long line cardigan. I tend to wear cardigans, but they're always handy to have, especially just lounging around the house. I'm gonna keep that one as well. This little Zara cardigan, I can keep that as well. It's got the pearls. I do love this. I don't wear it enough at all because I don't really know what to wear underneath it. But I do love this cardigan, so I'm gonna keep that for now. And then this little Primark pink jacket, I think it's time that this went. Um, although it is quite cute, but that's more, I'd say, summery. I'm gonna, I think, put that in the summer pile. I've got all my jeans here. I seriously need to sort these out. So these. Jack Wells light wash cropped jeans are definitely summery, but they are completely losing their elasticity. So they're actually going to have to go in the bin, unfortunately, or with the recycling centre, because they're just so baggy, it's ridiculous. Um, these are some ripped jeans. These are going to go in the, oh, I can see all the, <laughs> the dust coming off them. Uh, this is going to go in my summer pile. They're just some Primark ripped jeans. I'll go in the summer pile. I've got some white Jack Wills jeans that I've literally never worn. They're a couple of years old. Um, but I'm going to keep them because they're literally, I've never worn them. And hopefully maybe next year will be the, the year I decide I'm confident enough to wear white jeans. And I've also got these like, what would you call these? 
really like harem pants type thing. I actually wore them quite a lot this summer. Um, so I'm going to put them away for next year as well. This one is completely broken, this hanger, so it's going to have to go in the bin. But on here I have some replay jeans, which I love. These are a nice dark blue colour, so I'm going to be keeping these. I then got these <laughs> blue pattern trousers, like sort of chino style. I do really like these, they're a bit tight this year. Hopefully next year I would have lost a bit of weight, so I might keep those for next year. And also, I've never actually got around to wearing these. I actually bought these from a car boot sale. These new look patterned trousers. I think I'm going to have to be popping those on eBay and getting rid of those. This beautiful dress I actually wore to my best friend's wedding a couple of years ago. Um, I'm going to be keeping that. I'm going to put it in my summer wear because it's definitely a bright summer outfit. That's actually a gorgeous dress. Where is this from? This is from the brand Jovana. I got this when I was at university in one of the little shops in Lincoln. Absolutely love it. But again, it's very summery, so that's going to go in my summer clothes pile. And this beautiful dress from Zara, I wore this in Milan a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. But again, it's very summery, um, so that's going to go in the summer clothes pile. This Zara striped little dress, I actually probably think it's about time I get rid of it. Oh, actually, I do really like this though. You know what, I'm going to keep this next year and hopefully I've slimmed down enough to wear it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is my be. I'm such a hoarder, I can't get rid of anything. I think I'm going to keep this little dress and wear it hopefully next year um, if I've lost a little bit of weight because it is a beautiful striped dress. And it's still in really good condition because I've hardly worn it. This beautiful black dress which looks really simple but it's got a really low back. It's lovely. This is from Second Female again. I love this dress. It looks really nice when you've got a bit of a tan. Which obviously this year I didn't have a tan but... I'm going to pop that away in the summer pile again. Oh, I love this little Zara checked play suit. Again, I love this, but it's summery, so it's going to be going in the summer pile. Oh, this, I love this, like one of my favourite dresses. It's a little from Misguided, a little paisley print um, dress. I wore this in Saint Tropez on a holiday, and it's just stunning. But, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that, but it's going to go in the summer pile. Now this is one dress I'm not sure, I'm this little Topshop red, kind of crochet material dress. I've always on a couple of nights out when I was at university, that was a few years ago now, so it is quite old. Um, it is quite a pretty dress, definitely a pretty summery dress. Should I keep that? Let me know what you think I should do with this dress. Should I sell it on eBay or should I keep it? Um, I think for now I'm just going to put it in the summer dress pile, <laughs> because I can't get, I literally, I have such an attachment to all my clothes. On oh, this dress I had in Mexico, it's actually with a car boot find a couple of years ago, I absolutely love it. It's got a lovely black zip down the back, it's a beautiful coral colour. Oh, I'm going to have to keep that as well, because if I ever go on any like proper summery holidays, these cleaved clothes are going to come in really handy. This is a little paisley play suit from New Look. Um, again, I think I'm just going to stick this in the summer clothes, clothing pile, and then maybe next year, I can go through all these and actually decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. Little Zara play suit. Again, I'm just going to pop that in the pile for next year and we can just go through this again next year and decide if I want to keep all this stuff. Gorgeous, vibrant, teal blue play suit. Looks amazing with a tan and some brown wedges. Love that. I'm going to keep that for now. And that was from Topshop. A couple of really summery dresses here. I'm going to save those for next year. I then got three things in this one hanger. So it's a good one I bought those other clippy hangers. Got this striped Topshop little play suit, which I love. Didn't really get to wear it much this year, but that's going to go away. Hopefully, and I'll be able to wear it next year, maybe. Little white denim skirt from Primark. It's going to go in the next year's pile. And this little gingham off the shoulder top is from Primark. So easy just to throw on with a pair of jeans. I wear that quite regularly in the summer. But it's kind of not the temperature anymore to wear it. Got a little woolen vest top here. I might keep this because sometimes I wear that under the Zara cardigan with the pearls. And then this little dancing leopard dress. I'm going to be getting, well, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm going to put it in the pile for next spring and summer. Now, this is my little top shop off the shoulder. Sort of beach dress I love to wear in the summer, just over a bikini. Not that I wore many bikinis this year, but that can go in the pile for next year. Oh, this Topshop snake print dress I absolutely love, but it does not fit me anymore at all. 
And I have this gorgeous Zara. I only bought this last year actually. Snake print, long sleeve dress. I could get away wearing this in the winter. Put on some tights and boots that might look quite nice. I'm gonna keep that there as well. And this little Zara top. I think you can kind of get away wearing this in the autumn winter. It's a tad small for me now. I'm gonna think about this when I do love it. It's great with some jeans and sort of knee high boots. But I'm gonna put that to the side and just see how I feel. I've got a River Island little kimono. That's gonna go in the summer pile. This little River Island striped shirt. I'm actually gonna be putting this on eBay. Oh, this Zara silk top, I absolutely love it. It's like a crossover and it's beautifully patterned. I'm gonna be keeping that. Again, another Zara little daisy print shirt. I can definitely wear that in the autumn, winter, so that'll stay. And then this little striped t-shirt again, I'll put in the summer pile. So I've got this leopard print little top. I tend to wear this from Topshop, it's really, really old now, but I do still tend to wear this sometimes. Topshop silky blouse, I'm gonna keep, but I need to sew um, a button on the sleeve because it's broken. So I'm just going to put that back in the wardrobe. I absolutely love this. I wear it all the time in autumn, winter, for, like dinners out and things like that. It's really smart looking. So that's gonna go back in the wardrobe. I've got this second female little blouse. This was actually my mum's and she gave it to me, but it doesn't fit me. So I'm going to have to put that on eBay. A little Oasis blouse I got in a Stitch Fix recently. I'll link that up here again if you want to see what I got in that box. But I love this. Um, and it's got sort of the ruched sleeves and ruched bit at the bottom, which I absolutely adore. I'm gonna pop that back in the wardrobe. Got my mango little crochet cardigan, which I love. I'm gonna keep obviously keep that. It's gonna go back in the wardrobe. This little utility shirt from Zara, a gorgeous green colour, I like that. So that's gonna go back in the wardrobe, but I'm just gonna take off this plastic hanger and swap it out for a velvet hanger. All of these little Topshop camisoles are gonna go in the summer pile for next year. This white H&M t-shirt with the large sleeves is gonna go in the back in the wardrobe for next year. Got this little atmosphere from Primark, sort of pajama shirt. That's kind of springy because it's really floral, but I'm gonna pop that back in the wardrobe so I could wear that for work. This selected femme lilac little peplum shirt is gonna go in the eBay pile because I I haven't actually worn this, but it doesn't fit me very well at all. <laughs> My trusty Topshop little green crossover shirt is gonna go in the summer pile. I absolutely love this, I wear it so much every summer. <sighs> this little ASOS navy peplum sort of shirt blouse thing. Um, I really like this still. I don't tend to wear it very often anymore. But I'm actually gonna put that back in the wardrobe. It's definitely more of an autumnal piece. Got a top shop little blue shirt here. That's gonna go back in the wardrobe as well. I don't love it though. I'll I'll have a think about that one. I'm not entirely sure. This little Zara check shirt is gonna go back in the wardrobe for autumn winter. This H&M polka dot shirt I wore for a conference and actually hasn't really worn it since. Very smart, but we're gonna put that back in the wardrobe. It's definitely something I can wear for work. Oh my gorgeous whistles dress. Um, this is absolutely stunning. I love this. I'm gonna pop it back in the suitcase, pop it up in the loft and that can come out next summer. Some really summery things here as well. A little Primark off the shoulder dress and this white little crochet top shop dress. I just wear this kind of over bikinis at the beach, that kind of thing. And those little white camis from Topshop. That can go away for next year. I've got a little Massimo Duty um, little t-shirt. This is gonna go on the eBay pile. I've got this Zara little white Kind of see-through top. I'm actually going to get rid of this because I just think it's very old style now. I don't think I'd reach for it anymore to wear so I'm going to pop that on eBay as well. These two off the shoulder tops. This one is Topshop and this little black and white striped one. I love this but again can go away for next summer. Two little t-shirts here. This is the Jack Wills one. This I will wear next year hopefully a bit more that I wore this year. It's got kind of an open back with all these bows, which is adorable. I'm gonna pop that in the pile for next summer. And this cute little Primark LA one, which I actually really like to wear around the house. Another one of those uh, Zara tops. This one is in a red color. I'm gonna get rid of this one too because I can't see myself wearing it. I've got a little black camisole with a little sort of eyelet lace detailing around the top. I sometimes wear this and some of my tops, so I'm gonna pop that in back in the wardrobe. And then this is a Topshop black lacy 
little top but I'm gonna pop that on eBay I think because I don't wear that. Oh, one of my favourite items in my wardrobe is this green jumpsuit. I actually love this. Again, it's so old, but it just comes out every year because I absolutely adore it. And this is going to go in the wardrobe for next year. I actually bought this second hand. This was from Depop, maybe, or maybe even eBay. This little red dress. You can tell kind of my favourite colours in the summer are like these little reds. Uh, this can go away for next summer. Oh, it's another dress I absolutely adore. It's my All Saints long. Um, skirt dress. This is definitely a more of an autumnal piece. This one was actually my graduation dress. It's a little Topshop wraparound dress. Very summery. Uh, it's obviously going to go in for next year. This warehouse long maxi dress. Love this. Only bought it last year I think. So this can go back in for next year. And then the final thing is my little mango um, linen dress. I didn't get to wear this very often because I bought this this year actually. This summer so that's definitely going to go into the pile for next year okay so after all that i've got the stuff that's going to go back in the wardrobe for autumn winter a humongous pile of hangers that i'm going to obviously put all my winter stuff on and then this is the small pile of stuff i'm going to put on ebay and then if i just show you my massive pile that's on the floor these are all my summer clothes which are going to be putting back in a suitcase I'm just going to pop all of my autumn winter clothes back in and then we're going to go through my suitcase of autumn winter stuff. But first I should probably put my advent calendar back. <laughs> if you want to see the what's inside the ASOS advent calendar I'll link a video on the screen here because I unboxed this recently on my channel so go have a look at that. And now I'm just going to pop everything back in the wardrobe. my winter stuff that was in the loft in this suitcase here this is actually my uh, personalized suitcase it says Hannah and there's a supposed to be a picture of me on the front this was from Clara Bella I think the brand is um, if you like the suitcase I'll link it down below I've had it for years now but they're so great on holiday because you know which one is your suitcase no one will ever take it because obviously it's so easy to see that this one's yours because it's got a picture of me on so this is my suitcase but at the minute it houses all of my winter clothes I'm actually going to be getting rid of this Topshop cardigan with the faux fur I'm just not a fan of this anymore. So that's going to go in the to sell pile. This little next jumper is also going to be sold. Jack Will's jumper I'm going to put on the eBay pile. This pink jumper um, from Pull and Bear I'm also going to put on the eBay pile. This little chiffon top I got from Zara last year. Love it. It's got a little tie neck. I'm obviously going to be keeping this. This little black top chop jumper with a zip down the back I'm going to be keeping as well. It's a really simple thing just to stick on. A little top shop V sort of fake leather skirt. I'm going to be keeping that as well. A little Zara pencil skirt. I'm going to stick that on eBay because I don't wear things like that very often. And these are some black trousers from Zara that have a little stripe down the side. So I'm going to be keeping those as well. Okay, next side. This little Zara basics shirt. It's got kind of a crossy over back. I'm going to probably keep that one. This little play suit I absolutely adore. So I'm going to be keeping that one definitely. I absolutely love this. It's a black top shop dress. I'm actually probably going to stick on eBay. Because I don't tend to reach for that very often. Also this little green Jack Wills jumper I absolutely love. But I think I shrunk it. So I'm going to have to put the measurements on eBay and hopefully someone can get some wear out of that. Um, but it's just too cropped for me now, unfortunately. So that's going to have to go. This little black Topshop crop jumper. I think I'll probably keep as well. This little black shirt with a little print. I wear this work quite often in the autumn winter. That's going to go back in the wardrobe. This little Jack Wills jumper I do love. It's just too tight for me. I think that's going to have to go on the sale pile. A little ASOS jumpsuit that's going to go in the wardrobe and then this is my Dolce & Gabbana little dress 
which I absolutely love. I got this so many years ago, it doesn't fit me at all, it's absolutely tiny weeny but I just don't bear to part with it and I'm probably going to hopefully pass this on to my children if I ever had them. So I'm going to be keeping this Dolce & Gabbana dress, I can go back in the wardrobe. I just like to look at it. <laughs> Charles Black Zara knit cardigan can probably go in the... Oh, what to do about this one? So well, but sometimes you just need a black cardigan, don't you? I can go back in the wardrobe for now. This black jacket thing can actually go on eBay, so that's one thing I can get rid of. <laughs> oh, I actually love this as well. This is a little Zara um, dress I got a couple of years ago. It's got this gorgeous like sequined embroidered detail at the top, an embroidered dress, absolutely stunning. A little black Zara jumper with sort of crochet embroidered lacy arms. Oh, a plain black t-shirt, that's where that went. I was looking for one of these all summer and I couldn't find it, so that can go back in the wardrobe. Oh, this is one of those little Topshop crossover shirts again that can stay. Love this little play suit. It looks like a dress, but it's actually a play suit. And it's like this gorgeous black floral print from Zara. That was again a couple of years old. Kind of like asymmetrical, but that can stay. I love that. And finally, some wide leg trousers with a really sort of high paper bag waist. Um, I don't really wear these very often. When I went to a few conferences, a couple of years ago, they were very handy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep those. I wanna be a weekend lover, yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers, I don't wanna meet your mother, never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. To you, here's your time to shine. Oh, show me what you can do. The way my hands feel on your body, the way we're dancing in the dark. With every move, I make your falling. The way my lips feel on your body, the way we're moving in the dark. With every breath, we take your falling. Baby, I don't want to lead you on Not looking for something steady Not ready for that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine on Show me what you can do Make a move The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make your fall so I finished sewing up my wardrobe now, so I'm just going to quickly run you through exactly how I organised it, and then we're done. So this is what the wardrobe looks like now, it's full of autumnal colours. If I just bring you in, I've got my coats and jackets here, I've got a few more up in the loft still, but I'll have to get them down another time. I've got trousers and my one skirt there, got little camis, short sleeved um, tops here, long sleeve sort of shirts, going into more pattern shirts. I've then got cardigans and jumpers and then I've got dresses and play suits um, there. So that's all nicely organised. I've got nothing under here apart from my advent calendar and I'm going to hopefully put some shoes and things there um, once I've sorted my shoes out. But for now that's everything. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did and give a big thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for my next video which is going to be a bathroom decluttering organisation and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.